ever. You think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the Carriage inspection, check. Wheel and axle inspection, check. Carriage Power inspection, inspection, check. Wheel and axle inspection, Good morning, check. Mr. Wheel. Power inspection, check. Oh, good morning, heroes of Simulanka. Good morning, Mr. Wheel. Hey, our old friend Wheel is the driver again. <sighs> that already puts time on at ease. Are you certain you don't want us to accompany you, Your Majesty? I am. You, you can leave the dragon slaying to us. What remarkable friends, Her Majesty. All right, then. Look after the city for me while I'm gone. Yes, Your Majesty. All right, then. Just leave it to us. The city for me while I'm gone. I think we're all set. Yes, Your Majesty. Time to depart. Just leave it to us. <laughs> Next step. Yes, Time to depart. Just leave it to us. Like to ride a toy train. Ooh, you're really easy to please, Navia. Hmm. Looks like 
the fog ahead is getting thicker. Attention, passengers. We've arrived at the transfer point. All change, please, all change. So we've got to switch trains, right? It looks like... Hilly trip. Huh? Well, just find somewhere to hide, Miss... Clouds converge! Yeah. Scatter! Skyward! <laughs> is a little scratched up, but they're just wonderful. Hmm. Let's keep going the then. Is a little scratched up. And wit make sure to buy lead. Go forth and wit make oh, sure. Are you okay, Miss? I'm fine. But I think that we're lucky this guy caught us on. <laughs> are you okay, Miss? Passed out from a little fall, did ya? Oh, cut her some slack. The travelers had a rough. Uh, but my. My leg's falling asleep. You couldn't have set her down on the grass over there, hat guy? <laughs> I go out of my way to save four people who fall out of the sky, and now you're nitpicking my choice of soft landing? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Morning sunshine. You were having a nice little dream there, weren't you? Not gonna lie. You and your friends fell from the top of that waterfall, and you passed out along the way. Sorry to break it to you, but crashing into the ground doesn't take you to another world. That kind of thing only happens in those stupid light novels they sell in Inazuma. Also, he kind of, uh, set you down in Nilu's lap, so that's where you've been having all this. Hi, Mon! Oh, no, it's all right. You didn't hit your head, did you? Is the dizziness gone? Really? What did they say? The fog you see around here can have a hallucinatory effect. Apparently, it's the work of that dragon. To make a traveler, Nilu. Oh yeah, he's a student at the academia. We met during the last interdarsh. Well then, hello there, friend. I'm Navia, the president of. Sure. Whatever. Oh, wait, hat guy. What's that sword around your waist? <laughs> An unwelcome encumbrance, that's what. I've had it ever since I woke up here. Tried to toss it, but no matter what I do, it always reappears. Such a... Anyway, if any of you want the heroes... Wait, it's called... 
called what? Anyway, what the hero sword. Meant to be wielded by the hero. What? The hero you're the hero of this world? Meant to be Will you calm down? Oh, uh, it's just that this, this entire time, we thought we oh, uh, were the heroes of this world. <sighs> well, if it means that much to you, you're welcome to claim the title. You'd be doing me a favor. You're welcome to claim the title. You'd be doing me a favor. That's not the point! The real question is, if you're the hero, then where the heck have you been all this time? Looking for a way out. I heard there's a boat in this area that can bring you to another world. So, but look at the state of things around here. The lighthouse collapsed. The boat won't budge. <sighs> I say we try to find a different way out. Huh. Paimon's guessing a voice told you what you were supposed to do here. That's what happened with Navi and... <laughs> you expect me to take orders from some disembodied voice? You expect me to take orders from some... Hey, wait! Where are you going? To find the so-called source of this world's misfortune. Wait, we came here to fight the dragon as... <sighs> Grab that dragon scale over there before you leave. Uh, a dragon scale? Where? Have you ever considered keeping your questions to yourself? Because if you actually expect me to answer them all, keep your questions to yourself. Because if you actually expect me to answer them all. Yeah! Skyward! Trinkets have we here. Present them for one's perusal. Ah, what trinkets have we here? Present them for one's perusal.
These could be salvaged for parts. Trinkets have we here? Present them for one's perusal. should invent some form of curio to serve mechanism. Poison and transmutes everything it touches. Your, your Majesty, Madam Fairy's brave hero. What are you looking at me for? He's obviously talking to you, Mr. Wheel. You, you didn't get hurt. Oh, not at all. Thankfully, the young man in the hat was kind enough to lend me a hand. There seems to be a village over here. Some of the residents used to work in the Titanium mines, and... I see. I'm glad they're all safe and sound. Oh, I'll help too. Still, I think we need to take care of the dragon. Apparently, the villagers often see the dragon fly into a space behind the waterfall. Then we should look around and try to find a way in. I'll wait here for your triumphant return. You're... Yeah, got her. Yeah, Take it and have fun. Quick, 
take out the dragon scale. Wait, wait! wait. No. Quick. Paimon doesn't need to ask you anything. See, Paimon can figure things. Bounty. Put away that sword around him. Uh, should have never had to use this thing to begin with. Do, do you need to do anything to prepare, Traveler? Thank you. 
space is completely empty. I'm on bet this is where the dragon sleeps. The space is completely empty. I'm on bet this is where the Watch dragon out in front. Sleeps. It's coming. <laughs> He's here. Ah, another new soul has joined this world. But are you sure his fate will be as you described? Of course. My predictions are never wrong. I just don't like that kind of story. Then you need only do as you said, and let him find his... <laughs> You're right. Then listen closely, my child. Your name is... saw the same thing just well we definitely saw a different side to the story watching this world might be a lot more the next time we encounter the dragon how about we that sounds like a good plan but maybe if the world above is a fairy tale uh, just keep walking and don't fall behind Right. 
rises. The dragon? The dragon just dropped us off here? We didn't get eaten by the dragon? The dragon just dropped us off? Hat guy! You're getting too far away! <sighs> He's just up ahead. Is he trying to lure us somewhere? Uh, I'd say we were the He's ones who backed him into a co- but is he trying We to just want to ask him if He's had year after year of people coming here to try to take his head. If you ask me... Maybe there's still something we can do to calm him down? I wouldn't count on it. Maybe his earlier attacks were just to prepare for a final battle. Maybe his earlier attacks were just to prepare for a Quit following me.
have to throw a bomb in its mouth? Watch out! If you fall, you're on your own this time. to create this child, M? <sighs> he will be abandoned by his creator, and eventually... I know, You've told me already. That's... I know. That's exactly why I want to change... I understand, Anya. But know that if you give... But there's still a chance, right? Maybe it's a shot in the... Although, he might need the help of others when the time comes. All right, my dear. The ch since you're so persistent, let... Hmm. More bore... so persistent, let... Hmm. 
I'm sorry, my child. Unlike my friends, I don't have a long time to live. All said and done, the story of my life will be shorter than... It's okay. It's okay. Once I'm gone, I will... Go forth and witness this world, my child. You'll meet good friends as for this world. So in the end, you're betrayed too. So in the end, you're betrayed too. Hey, Mr. Dragon. He brought you some food. You must be hungry. Quiet. We can't let anyone hear us. Everyone says you're a bad guy. It's okay. Just keep hiding here. Oh no, my child! It's okay. Help! Somebody help me! Save my child! The dragon's trying to kidnap her! No, no! It's not like that! Listen to me! So you're hated by people too. So that's it. That's really your wish? To never have been born at all? That's it. That's really your wish? To never <sighs> that's not a fate you should wish for. That's really your wish. That's not a fate you should wish for. Nobody can define who you are. Or deny the true feelings of your heart. Now remember your name. Durin. Constellation Metropole, I heard people saying you'd gone to fight the dragon, so I followed you here. Right when I managed to catch up, I saw... Wait, didn't someone else fall through just now? Should... Oh, yeah, head guy. Well, he can fly, so he'll probably be fine. He called the dragon something earlier. Durin. That's his name. Oh, hat guy, you're okay. Wait, what about the dragon... Durin? He's fine. Durin. Wait, that's the name of the dragon from Dragon's Spine, right? The one that became a part of the mountain after being slain by Dvalin? If Pylon remembers correctly, it was created... Right! It was created by Rhyndaughter! Hmm. So, what exactly happened down there? You've been acting weird ever since the end of the fight. So that's the truth about Simulanka's evil dragon. What we saw in the mist weren't hallucinations, but the dragon's memories. Huh. I thought it was strange. The people around the Broken Sea are clearly stranded, but I never heard any stories about the dragon attacking the village. The people we met along the way are probably workers from the Toitania Mines, or guards who came here to claim the dragon's head. When I first came to this world, a voice spoke to me and said, You are the hero of this world. Huh. Who is the person who came to this world? Who is the 
person behind me. Come with me. The answer to all this. Is this... a study? That's right. It belongs to the goddess of fate. A goddess of fate? That's right. As in one of the three goddesses who created Simulanka? Or more precisely, M. One of the mages of the Hexen Circle. Hexen Circle? As in... Sorry, Paimon shouldn't just regurgitate everything you say, it's just... She created the story of Durin. Well, the Simulanka version, at least. These records should cover most of what you want to know, including the identities of... By all rights, I'm still... Hmm. Barbie love... I think... Oh, a bit. My dear, the time we spent A says that even if you ever want the time we spent A says that even if you ever want It's Simulonka Duran. And he's looking up at something. It's this must have been after M passed away. This looks like a must maybe the Toitania miners dug too deep? So deep that they dug right through to the... Yeah. And now that you mention it, this miner's lamp looked right through to the forest of blessings. Look at the size of those footprints. If that's every time he lands, then no wonder people are so terrified of it. So that's why you took the stars. Because you missed your mom. So that's why you took the stars. Because you missed your mom. Ah, that statue looks different from the one in the Metropole. It's a different goddess. This one is the god... It's a different goddess. This one is the god... <sighs> it's all right now, Durin. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Don't say that, Durin! I'm a made a mistake. She was wrong about you! But it's So that's why you made that wish? Anyone with eyes can see that all you want to do is get along with everyone. Anyone with eyes can see that all you want to do is get along with everyone. You just want to make friends. People to play with. To talk to. You just want people to make who friends. People to play with. To talk to. Well, you've never people hurt anyone. Heck, the idea never even crossed your mind. Sure, you scared a bunch of people half to death, but... That's only because they had no idea what kind of dragon you... Yeah! If you had a heart-to-heart -heart with them, I'm sure they'd come to understand you and... Yeah! If you had a heart-to-heart -heart with them, I'm sure they'd come to understand you and... Yeah! Hmm. The curse. Huh? Is it your true wish to live side-by-side -side with the people of Simulanka? Then close your eyes and make a wish to the goddess of fate. Just trust me. And make a wish to the goddess of fate. I, Nilu, the forest fairy, give to you my blessing and welcome you as a forest fairy. May everyone accept you as one of our own. And may the forest of blessings be a place you can I, Navia, King of Constellation Metropole, give you my blessing. I grant you citizenship to my Oh, me too! As the, uh, Nekomata in Boots of this World, I give you my blessing too. 
I, the hero of this world, give you my blessing. I recognize you as a resident of Simula. Also, speaking as someone who'd like to be your friend, I wish you all the best for the future. Speaking as someone who'd like to be your friend, I wish you all the best for the future. I, a traveler who has traversed many worlds, give to you my blessing. May you find friendship and goodwill no matter what. As for this world, I leave it to you. As for this world, I leave it to you. As for this world, I leave it to you. Huh? What? Why are you all staring at me? Huh? My... my claws? Are these my claws? And my wings, oh, my tail. Oh, does this mean? Oh, wow, you look so cute. Quite a radical transformation. Uh, not that there was anything wrong with the way you looked before, of course. It's just, uh, how do you feel? Are you happy with your new appearance? Does anyone have a flower with them? Are you happy or with your even dreams? just some water or paper from this world? Oh, I do actually. Here you go. Even just some water or paper from this world. Oh, I do actually. Here you go. They're they're not changing. I can touch things without changing them. Hey, that's great! One more flying thing for Paimon. Now the residents of Simulanka won't be scared of you anymore. Hmm. But what about all the things that I did before? That's simple. Just go out there and atone. You could fill in the footprints you left on the ground. Or help the people around the broken sea get home. Okay. And you'll come along and help me, right, Pat Guy? Huh? Why would I do that? Uh, because you said you wanted to be my friend. You little... Ugh. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. You little... Huh? But I thought... Well, maybe I spoke too soon. You little... <sighs> All right, fine. I'll go with you. All right, fine. Really? I'll go with you. Yes, really. Lying to you would be no fun. Oh, thank you! You're the yeah. first friend to call me by my name! Lying to you would be no fun. <laughs> Let's go back up. I'm about to suffocate down here. Oh, it feels so good to finally see Hat Guy meet his match. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fine, I just... All right. Let's also head... To... Uh, don't be scared, Durin. We'll be right by your side. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your blessings, everyone. Oh, this is the happiest day I've had in a really long time. Thank you for your blessings, everyone. This is the happiest day I've had in a Ta-da! Surprise, everyone! Ah! Attacking Street Lamp! Ta -da! Surprise, everyone! <laughs> street Lamp? Street oh my! You mean you still don't remember me? I know that voice! My. It's Mom's friend! You, you still don't remember me? I know that voice! It's Mom's friend! Hello there, traveler and friends! And Durin, it's good to see you! In fact, you look so different that perhaps I should call you Mini Durin. <laughs> Mini Durin, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. It's nice being smaller. You must be one of the three goddesses of this world. <sighs> yep, that's right. 
But although it's the most impressive sounding of the three, to be honest, we all made an equal contribution to if you've ever read any of M's stories, you'll know just how enchanting the worlds are that she writes about. So I got B involved, and with M's consent, created the world of Simulon... Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're getting... <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, hmm. Let's start with your first question, then. That must have been when we all gave Minnie Durin our blessings, right? with your first question, then. Yes, exactly. In the world of fairy tales, words and emotions often carry far more power than any spells. It's all thanks to your magic that Minnie Durin was able to take this form. Come say hi to me, little one. Oh, look at you. You're as cute as a button. So, what about us? Was it always part of the plan that we'd come here? Uh, plan isn't the word I'd use. If you ask me, I'd say fate works in mysterious ways. When Durin of Simulanka made his wish to the goddess of fate, it just so happened that in a world far away, all of you wonderful, and because of your noble and kind souls, you... Now that you mention it, that's what I was doing when I was transported here. I was reading... I think I just, uh, happened upon an old book and decided to use it as my pillow during a nap in a box. <laughs> wow, what a crazy coincidence. Wait, that's not right. How come everyone else got a song to roll except us? Because we were all... Yeah, that was it. We just received a strange book and we had no idea who sent it. Then, the moment we opened it up to start reading it, we found it... Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yes. Hmm. Good question. Why indeed? Maybe I I can sense that your blessing for Minnie Durin was a very special one. With this blessing from beyond the story, he might even be able to explore worlds outside of this. To that, you mean? That's right. In fact, back when we were first creating Simulanka, every story has an ending. But if the story becomes reality, it should have the right to choose its own. So, in other words, the predestined lives these people lead were always... Wait, so even if the people here get to go to other worlds... <laughs> Don't you realize... Huh? You can either take the boat at the Broken Sea... How were we supposed to... Huh, you didn't I? <laughs> well, given how smart and... As for your other friends who were summoned here, if I had to guess, I'd say the goddess of fate brought... She's M's reflection, after all. It wouldn't surprise me if she shares. Anyway, I think that answers your... I... I'm gonna go say sorry to you. Now we know how easy it is to get back home. Same here. It's not every day that you get to come to such a magical world. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. By the way, Minnie Durin, I'm delighted to see you. Now, before I depart, please... Yes, this is where the hero's journey comes to an end. Ah, but it's also where a new journey begins. Huh? And it, you bet. For starters, I'd love to introduce you to my other friends in the forest. Hmm? Huh? For starters, I'd love to introduce you to my other friends. Ah, uh, stop looking at me. I already said I'll come with you. Whoa! Look over there! Wow. I'll come with you. The stars of the... I'll bet that's a gift to Minnie Dur. Oh, thank you, Mom. I'll bet that's a gift to Minnie Dur. Thank you, Mom. I'll bet that's a gift to Minnie
It's been a while since our last adventure. Oh, Paimon wonders how many... It's been a while since our last adventure. Oh, Paimon wonders how many... It's been a while since our last adventure. Oh, Here's your two magic tonics. Why, thank you, young lady. And might I add that you're looking quite lovely. Oh, but is this really... Still worried about Clea? <laughs> Relax. Kaya and Master Jean! What are you two doing here? Oh, look who it is. The Traveler and... Greetings to you both. This is one place... The locals here have been talking non-stop about some brave... Well, now... Yes, we only played a small part. Still sounds mighty impressive to me. That's right. We received a letter of invitation from Miss Alice. I wasn't sure what she meant by fairyland at first. Clee ran off excitedly as soon as we arrived. <sighs> I'm we could hardly say no to such a considerate offer. Any excuse for a drink, huh? <laughs> well, we are on vacation. It's only fair that we get to... In <laughs> You're right. Oh, wait, Kaya? What exactly did you order for The house special, of course. Best way to get a taste of the local culture. <laughs> Why are you making that face, Paimon? Uh, nothing. Paimon's just preparing. Hmm. Something tells me I need to tread carefully here. Let's see. It's got a lovely color. But how about the taste? Let's see. It's got a lovely color. How about the taste? Hmm, I think maybe I'll pass. All right, Paimon. Well played. I think maybe I'll pass. Well, Paimon All got right, burned Paimon. too, if it's any consolation. Well it's nothing for... Oh, by the way, we weren't the only ones who got invited here. I saw Kale earlier. She didn't see me, though. She was making a beeline for that... A kingdom of breezes and bells, you mean? All right. Well, give her my regards. A kingdom of breezes and bells, you mean? All right. Thank you. Enjoy your time here, too. Treehouse is here is nothing short of amazing. I have to write it down so I can tell my sister here is nothing. Hey, Kale! Uh, so you scared me. Traveler and Paimon? You got invited here too? Yep. Well, they sort of skipped the invitation part, but anyway, what you doing out here? Something. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to observe and summarize the structures of the trees here, and also the animals that live here. Uh, well, the rest of Once a forest ranger, always a forest ranger, huh? Not sure you'll be able to apply much of what you learn here back home, though. What? Over there, by the giant footprint. Have those houses always been there? Oh, those? The local flying squirrels told me that they were built by a small dragon and... Oh, that must have been Minnie Durin and Hat Guy. Uh, supposedly, after building the houses, they went to somewhere... Yep, you got it! Oh, also, when the locals mentioned the dragon... Hmm. now that you mention it... Oh, no. They mentioned some stuff along the lines of... Past Miss and I only just got here, so... Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Are you looking for that small dragon? Yeah, he's a new friend we made. No way. Really? Uh, no, no, no. I've got to save it for next time. For now, I've got to make the most out of... Oh, there's no rush. Just take it slow and enjoy yourself. Like, oh, Mr. Kaya is here too? Well, right now he's at the cavern and he probably won't be leaving until he's drunk. Not that he'll ever... <laughs> you make a good point, Paimon. Shall we go pay a visit to the Metropole Traveler? Oh, right. By the way, something pretty interesting has been happening in Sumeru recently. Sounds good. We'll found some time in our schedule. 
schedule. Something interesting has been happening in Samira recently. Yeah, of course. Well, See you later. Schedule. Something interesting has been happening. Of course. See you me. There is no way. I can't believe it. Are my eyes deceiving me? Hey, Mona! We heard you muttering from a long way away. What's up? Oh, was your scry glass acting up again? Oh, it's you, the saviors of this world. My, look, look at this statue. What? Is it broken or something? Looks fine to Paimon. I refuse to believe it. There's no way that old... When she was younger. Oh, actually. Now she can't hear me, can she? I swear I just got chills down my spine. Uh, either way, it's probably a little rude to talk about her right under... But how do you know it's a statue of her if you never saw her as a young woman? I did a quick scry when I came into this world. And when I saw the star's reflections, I was at a loss for work, a projection of real-world fate to form, or in layman's terms, uh, basically, the creator. Still sounds pretty impressive. The more I scryed, the more familiar everything looked. It's her work, there's no doubt about it. Even so, everything's far more complex. I also asked the locals about her. They call her she who has dominion over the stars and the course of fate. Not that I'm surprised in the least, of course. It certainly matches the tone of her diary. Oh, so Mona, have you seen a small dragon around by any chance? Ah, you mean the one that caused all that trouble. I haven't most people accepted his apology. Although... Oh, okay. Do you... One moment. ...accepted his apology. Ah, it looks like he's at the Broken Sea. Cool, want to come with us? We can... Hmm. I think I'll sit this one out. This might be the closest... What do you mean, be careful? We'll be off now. See you later, Mom. This might be the closest... What do you mean, be careful? We'll be off now. Does thou see what I am... Your eyes see true, Mame. Very well. Then, as sovereign ruler of the Imanakreish... Who did you just call a servant? What Mame Froilein means to say is... Hello. Pleasure to meet you too. <laughs> but hot guys... Ah, now you're... Hot guys, what are you doing? Found you at last. Oh, greetings, Outlander. Miss Unrary Knight, Paimon. Greetings. You both look well. Hey there, Glee! Have you yep. Loads and loads of fun! There are so many cute... I've been taking Glee to see all the sights. It's been a very... Yeah, Mom's amazing! Glee... So... It's been a very... Our moms were friends, which makes you my big brother... Wow! Thank you, Klee! Can I go play with Klee? Suit yourself. Albedo! Albedo, can I? Go on. I go uh, just don't go too far. Yay! Come on, Mini Durin! <laughs> You're a princess and accept me! What Mame Froilein means to say is... Hooray! I love hiding! Oh, me too! To return to our previous discussion... I heard B talking to M. To 
Since you're so persistent, our child will one day... Uh, is she saying that Dragon Spine Durin will come back to life? I only heard it in a memory. Understood. My recent observations that Dragon Spine lend credence to this pro Durin's heart has slowly but surely been growing in vitality. The process is extremely slow, but... Uh, to start with, plan for every potential scenario. <laughs> I am well aware of Durin's past, and I sincerely hope that things never escalate. If the prophecy is true, and Durin's heart will one day beat again, I'd like to, if you understand what I mean. Kind of? And so, when the time comes, Mr. Hat Guy, will you and Sim- Huh? What's this got to do with me? You saved the Durin of this world. I don't see that as a mere coincidence. If there is any meaning to be read into the actions of the three goddesses, beyond fairy tale wit, the fate of this reflected world may have if Durin of Dragonspine will soon come back to life. We will need many Durin's help. As well. Oh, well, that's... To be sure, it certainly won't be... Albedo! Albedo! There's a flying paper ship of... Sure. Uh, two seconds. Oh. Please give my suggestion some thought, Mr. Hat Guy. Hat Guy, I'm Please back! My suggestion some thoughts, huh? Mr. Hat Guy. What? <sighs> Nothing. Huh. Okay, then. All right. I'll be right there. Okay, Why would I be? Do I strike you as someone who cares about up? Why would I be? Do I Quit trying to guess what I'm thinking. I'm leaving. The forest fairy helped us. I just realized there's a lot fewer people around the broken sea now. Does this boat have a name? Huh? <laughs> Every boat. They're usually symbolic names that. Hmm. Let's go with. Huh? Oh, you mean to wish Minnie Durin a safe voyage as he your princess and approves? Let the Durin. <laughs> also. Go on. Remember how Mom's friend said I should be able to leave this world? Huh? Oh, is... I don't think that's a great idea. If the people of Simulanka are allowed to go... To I'm assuming I'll have to be your body... I... I can protect myself. And I'll... It'll be up to you to stick close. If you disappear on me... Got it! I'll stick close... Why don't you take the Durin? Now you've given it a name. Are you leaving, Mini Durin? Why don't you take the Durin? Okay. Though our time together has been as fleeting. What main Fräulein means is the cool. <sighs> Are you done yet? Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. The blessings you next time. It will. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.
Academia say they haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Well, maybe I needed some space after being cooped up in there for so long. Yeah. Anyway, it's a school, not a prison. So what's the problem? I never said it was a problem. I was just noticing that you seem to be in quite a good mood at the moment. Uh. Who's this, that guy? Shut up. Not another word. Ah, you need a new friend. Uh, I told you already. Stop trying to read my mind. <laughs> I didn't need to. It's written all over your face. 